important ambassador who are very busy. I know how governmental work occupies most of their time. But one of the very convincing reasons that I use with them is the opportunity to meet you, the youth, the young boys and girls and students. And I must tell you that I was heartened, I was extremely happy to find all of them welcoming this opportunity and this chance to come and meet the youth of Egypt and to exchange views with them. So with that, I wish to thank them all very much for uh, this very humble notion and to come and speak to us today. We all know what this conference uh, work workshop is all about, so I uh, will not waste time. I just wish to say that there has been a small booklet that uh, has been distributed. This booklet has been prepared upon the instructions of the chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Kamis himself, uh, who was supposed to come today. Uh, I received uh, a sudden phone call from him yesterday around midnight, and he had a death in the family. So he apologizes for not being here today, but uh, this booklet is very important. It has important uh, information about the three important countries that we have uh, with us today. So, I will not uh, speak, I am a good listener, uh, and I will begin with, with your permission, because I know that there are commitments for His Excellency the Ambassador of Mexico, who will be our first uh, speaker. Um, and today, after some years' uh, experience uh, in Germany, but also in Pakistan, which was a, a very interesting place to be, um, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to be in Egypt and to have today the opportunity to speak to all of you. Um, one of the members of the board asked me if I could say some words about the transformations in Portugal after our revolution, 1974. Actually, I was, um, when, I, when I was thinking about uh, oh, what to tell you, I was uh, thinking to start a little bit earlier in the 14th century, but, um, and why? Because um, uh, Portugal is the country that, uh, uh, well, at least we say this, that started globalization. And I think if, if I would like to say something about, about Portugal, this is something that it's still today very present in our, um, uh, in our country, the way we see the world, the way also our economy uh, is organized. Um, as you know, we are uh, a small country. Nowadays, it's 10 million people living at the edge of, of Europe, uh, uh, the last spot uh, of the continent. And uh, um, our history was always, um, <coughs> Um, it developed in a way that we were always very open to the world because we had this big country that senses a little bit uh, like Egypt with difficult neighbors and we had this very difficult neighbor which was Spain. Nowadays the relations are fantastic but at that time were very difficult relations so the, the option was to look into the sea and to go to, to, to the world, to the outer world. Um, and so um, I think it started with the, you know, with the, the maritime explorations. Um, uh, this was the, 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 the key point in our history, where we realized that uh, uh, what we are is outside, it's outside Europe, it's uh, uh, in Africa, it's in South America, it's in Asia, um, and that it was uh, at the beginning an economic uh, need, because uh, um, the country is uh, poor, it's a poor country on natural resources, 